Hello and welcome to this third and final video in the series looking at Grade 3 Trinity College Classical Guitar Examination Pieces. In the previous two videos we looked at the Firth of Lawn, then we looked at Marshmallow Cocoa, and for this video I've chosen a more traditional classical guitar piece called Andantino by the composer Giuliani who wrote hundreds of pieces for the instrument. Okay, so this is called Andantino. <laughs> Andantino and this piece no sharps or flats in the key signature so it's basically in the key of C major all right okay the only sharp to be aware of is in bar 11 you have a G sharp and in bar 29 the very first bar of the last line you have another G sharp and basically if you're not already aware that's what we call an accidental in other words it's it's it well I suppose it is an accident it's not in the key signature but it is crucial to the piece all right um, so watch out for the G sharps there um, three beats in a bar three four three crotchet beats in a bar and andantino Andante at a walking pace, Andantino slightly slower, slightly faster. Okay, so somewhere around, if you just think of a, a nice sort of steady walking place, and just maybe put the speed up a fraction, okay, but not a great deal. Um, dynamically, loud at the start, F going to MF, and then on the second line, F, P, MF, and then diminuendo right at the end okay now the third line and the fourth line the fifth and the very last line this time be very careful practice this slowly all right follow the uh, the right hand fingers so m i m i m i and basically thumb on the bottom notes and then tarando strokes plucking the open g top note on the on the on the melody note so if we take the melody C C D D E F E D D F G D C D okay all right those notes bring those out so if you can where possible apoyando rest stroke all right on the first one that's a free stroke, Tarando. So middle finger, thumb on the bass, okay? But certainly the second bar, third bar. All right, Tarando in the thumb, rest stroke in the top, followed by the Tarando free strokes on the open G, okay? Practice those lines very slowly. smooth clear sound and your fingers aren't 
stumbling over the strings. All right, so nice and slowly on those. Okay, and be careful at the end of bar 22. All right, up to that point, you've been playing open G, but then all of a sudden, on that very last line, on that very last chord, you get a C at the top, an E in the bass, followed by an A on the third string. A, and then what I tend to do there is move my second finger up onto the F, third finger onto the D, and first finger onto the A. And it gives a nice, smooth transition. And then the last chord at that, uh, the last chord at the end of line four, thumb, A, M, I, thumb. So again, three strokes. towards the end all right um, and then the second to last line bar 25 we've got MP MF a crescendo at the end of that line and then right at the very end of the piece drop the volume down all right um, and you can see as well it's not marked I do have a habit of uh, rightly or wrongly, but I do have a habit of when I'm coming towards the end of a piece, sort of the last bar, I tend to put a rall in. Just to show that I'm coming to the end. It's not written, so technically it's not there. But to me, it's all, this now, at this stage, is all about being a musician and having that musicality, okay? So, play around with your tone, soft tone, brighter tone. It might be where it's louder, you have that more metallic -y sound. When you go quiet, you tend to play with a softer sound, okay? And when you go metallic, you don't have to go all the way back. You could go perhaps to the end of the or the edge of the rosette around the sound hole. Okay, so you get a slightly different sound. Okay, um, and once again, that's really all I'm going to say on that piece. All right, so let's have a go. We'll go back to the beginning, play it nice and slowly, just have a go at joining in, um, and then uh, that just gives you a feel for this piece. Okay, so three beats then after three. One, two, three. fast here. Let's just practice that nice and slowly. That's it, good. things before we leave this piece uh, the end of the second to the last line so bar 28 practice that little run up that little scalic run up from G G A B C D using good strong apoyando rest strokes 
to bring out those notes and you can see it is marked crescendo so it's getting louder um, and real oh the yeah the only other thing I was going to mention was with guitar music obviously you are playing more than one note together so um, if you look at the way the notes are written look at the first few bars for example if we say the first four bars all right you've got the top notes the sticks are going up you've got the lower notes which are referred to as the bass notes even though some of them aren't all right um, with the sticks going down now I know I was always taught the general rule if the sticks are up fingers and if the sticks are down thumb now that isn't always the case all right but it's worth having that in your head just to, to have something to work from um, so on that first bit I certainly use thumb and finger but then on the third bar the notes are close to each other C and E they are strings that are next to each other so sometimes I will use thumb and finger but sometimes I'll just pluck using tirando strokes using fingers all right so either way there's nothing nothing wrong with with that okay so that's now three pieces um, so once again Happy practicing.